Hi again everybody. Now the uh, little project has begun. Orange Crush side panels. As I mentioned before, I don't have editing software. I can't put stills. Um, so it's just going to be a series of short videos as I progress. Now, these are the two panels off my bike. That strange UFO looking thing there is actually totally smooth. It's not sticky and it's, it's where the decal was. But it's not in any way contaminated. So I think what's happened is the decal somehow has changed the composition of the ABS plastic, but that is gonna take paint. Um, in order to get the finish that will give a good keyed surface for primer, you need to use P240. You need 240 wet and dry sandpaper. Any finer than that, you're not going to get a good keyed surface. So it has to be pretty, pretty rough to the feel. It's still smooth, but you can feel it. Um, and do not, under any circumstances, use an electric sander because it will generate heat from the friction. An orbital sander will melt that plastic. You end up with balls of plastic. Um, I've tried doing plastic before, not actually ABS, and it will not work. Do it by hand. They're not big. It doesn't take that long. I dumped these in a sink of water, used the wet and dry, and thought, you know, I must have covered the whole surface by now. Took them out, dried them, and found large areas where I hadn't even touched it with the sandpaper. So I would recommend that you use the 240 sandpaper and do it repeatedly. Let it dry. You'll find that you get areas along the edges here where these injection moulding processes left slight troughs around the edge of the panel. And it's easy to miss the corners. You've got this lug here, this is on the left hand panel as this is on the bike. Now as you can see there, I'll probably get that later, there's just, I can get the thing in shot, there's a couple of little shiny bits there, can you see? And they are just little dips, they're not holes, they look like it, but they're not. Little dips in the plastic, so I'll get those in a minute. So you've really got to go around it very very carefully to make sure that all the surface of the side panel has been well keyed. That includes the edges because I intend to paint the edges obviously and there's going to be some overspray goes into here you know who cares really about that it's not going to be seen but these edges are going to be taking paint. I don't want it peeling along the edges. So that is the initial process. I got the decals off by getting a um, snap knife blade, a Stanley knife blade. That shiny bit of water off this cloth actually. Um, I got a Stanley knife blade and managed to prise up one edge of the decal and then basically pulled it off. You could probably use a hairdryer just to warm it up a bit. I did them stone cold and the decal kept snapping as I pulled it. One came off absolutely dead easy, the other one of course didn't. And uh, if you look here, I just noticed this. If you look at this one, let's have a look. Is there a shiny bit? Possibly. Just there. So it really is a case of going round by hand and checking. As you can see, I've removed the, the brackets that go at the bottom of each of these panels, yeah? So you can see there, three screws and three locating pins. It's, they, they sit really nicely on, actually. And then when you uh, put your screws in, coarse threaded screws, you tighten them up and it's exactly the same on this one. So 
non-polluting vehicle. Oh my goodness, that is a first. So, they fit really well. As you can see, I've done the edges on this. So there it is, there's the first stage of prep, is to, is to give a good keyed surface. In the next video, I will show them sprayed. I'll also um, put in the video the actual primer that I've used, and that again was from the professional paint place. I, I, I was tempted to go to, you know, a car shop and buy a plastic primer, or there's a place, Boys, there's a, a shop around here, they sell plastic primer, but I thought for this, for this project, I'm gonna get the right, you never know, you want the proper stuff. So I, I got the um, plastic primer from the same place that I've got the paint. And tomorrow I'll post a video of what was involved and we'll go on from there. So in the meantime, it's uh, God, 20 to 1 in the morning here. So have a good night if you're not already having your beauty sleep and I'll post another video tomorrow.